Welcome to our virtual classroom. Join me for some fun learning. Hello and welcome to Legacy Lineage Online Learning. It's Miss Nicole and I'm so excited. Parents, if you have not, please enter our giveaway. We have launched our new website. We are ready for August fall sessions to start and some of the fun things that your little one can win are all accessories that they can use for our learning when we start fall sessions. You may have seen me use the Hoberman Sphere on the Motivational Movement Monday videos and some of the social emotional videos. Well, guess what? In our giveaway, we're giving a child-sized Hoberman Sphere away for your little ones along with some instructions for the breathing techniques that can be used. We are also giving away some wiki sticks that will be used for some fun creative art activities. So if you have a one, a little one who likes to create, please enter. And last but not least, an all about me book full of fun pages that you and your little one can fill out. Visit our website and join. Welcome, it's Miss Nicole of Legacy Lineage Online Learning, and I'm so excited to be back for this parent snippet. Well, here we are getting ready to roll into our fall sessions, and it has been a whirlwind to say the least where 2020 is concerned, but that's okay, parents, because you know I am here to support you as we stay safe, stay home, and stay sane. For those of you who are going to be taking the charge of keeping your children at home and doing some homeschooling, I have plenty of educational resources that I can offer your preschool age child. Again, a lot of reading and um, that really is important. Literacy is so important, but it's also going to be some learning of the our alphabets, colors, um, shapes, sign language, lots of fun stuff that children are really going to be engaged with. I want to take a second to bring attention to my shirt. It says, be the nice kid. I am so big on kindness. I think if you've experienced things in life that have kind of come at you in one way, it teaches you how to relate and deal with others. And so to keep it short, I have dealt with lots of unkindness, but I endeavor to be kind. So when I saw this great shirt, I was so encouraged, even more so behind the little boys who designed this shirt. So I'm gonna take a second here and just shout out We Shine for this wonderful t-shirt. You can find this, they are on Instagram. Um, they have many designs, but they're very encouraging, empowering messages for children. The greatest thing is it's designed by children. Two little boys whose mom is all, already an entrepreneur, I guess, you know, they see what mom is doing and they endeavor to follow in her footsteps. Again, children do most of what they see, not what they hear. And so they came up with this great t-shirt line. So you can, too, enjoy one of their motivational, encouraging, empowering things as your child is out. They make adult sizes, as you can see, but they're really made for children. What I love about this shirt is it's soft good quality i shared with a mom as i went to pick up that a shirt that i had ordered it was so hard and the actual font on it felt almost like an iron-on this shirt is a good quality shirt and it's very comfortable so again i'm so proud to be representing the boys who are building and founding this empowerment message be be the nice kid is by we shine i think you can see the little symbol right here i have to sit up real tall so once again just to be clear you can find these t-shirts in adult or children's sizes they are empowering messages for children and um, i'm just encouraged to wear it very soft good quality moving right along parents i am going to be spending a lot of time um this week just really really encouraging our little boys and children that look like me when they look in the mirror and they see themselves I want them to be able to see representation of other things so I am hosting this week and featuring on um, this week story time to I'm saying little black boys but little black and brown boys and you know what if you're not black and brown join us you know there's something to be learned for diversity there's something to be learned for sharing other people's culture and learning something about other people so what we're gonna do is delve into so many great titles so many great titles I have I have been trying to support black business and black authors I'm not about lip service I actually do it and so these are just some of the stories that I'm going to feature. I want to take a second to also let you know that I've already featured two of the stories. Um, Big Dream Big Little One and Please Baby Please are also on our YouTube page. So you can check that out, our YouTube channel. 
So one of the stories we are going to spend some time really working on and gleaning from. This is a great story. B is for Breed. It is one of those books that you can use for social emotional learning. I talk about it a lot. I think it's important. Children really need to understand their feelings. They really need to understand how to express themselves appropriately because many do, but it's not always appropriate. And I think right now, with the, with the circumstances of the world that we're in, many, again, ended school really abruptly, have been spending way too much time inside, not being able to run about and do all the things that kind of children need to get out of their system. So all that is inside and we're just full of feelings. I know I am and I'm sure children are as well. So I endeavor to support you parents with this tool. We are going to do a few activities. So I'm gonna encourage you now to Collect them, collect the materials, and we will make this either our Wednesday story or our Friday story so that you have time to collect the materials. If you have not, please enter our drawing because one of the things that a child can win is, I'm just gonna to turn to the page. The author says that B is for breathe, okay? That's the name of the book. And she shows a child here who is breathing. I like to use the four, seven, eight technique and my beautiful big Hoberman sphere. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I have used this Hoberman sphere to give children a visual aid for taking deep breaths. Well, guess what? Visit our website and you can enter so that your child can win their own Hoberman sphere. I'm going to be giving away three packages and it includes the Hoberman sphere with instructions on the 478 breathing. They will also get some wiki sticks that are gonna be featured in some of our art activities that we're gonna be doing. And last but not least, in my book, All About Me, and this is so fun, you can sit with your little ones and fill this book up. You don't have to do it all now, maybe you could do a couple pages and then revisit it as they um, grow and learn their favorites change I know my sons used to be spider-man um, and then it was iron man and then it was transformers so again don't feel like you have to put it all in there you can start with um, before like the pre-child what were they like what was going on in your life before it talks about when they were born and their family and then it just goes on and it is so much fun to fill this out I did do this with my son so the rules for entering the giveaway are on my Instagram profile. You can also go to our website and visit our website to enter um, your email so that when the drawing um, occurs, you are in. So I'm gonna get started and we are gonna, again, put B is for breathe up for later. Oh yeah, so we, what we're gonna do also, in addition to using our Hoberman sphere, she says G is for glitter. Let me just get to G. <laughs> so G is for glitter, create a glitter jar. So this is kind of an example of a glitter jar, how the objects in my wonder stick kind of take their time and float down. It's a visual aid. As children are looking at this, they're able to calm down. Well, guess what? You're gonna be creating those at home with your little ones. All you'll need is a water bottle. Glitter, if you don't have glitter, I would use food coloring. Um, I would even say, maybe not rice, because rice would soften up inside of water, but definitely you can put some food coloring and oil in there as well, and then you could shake that up. Miss Nicole is going to be using some clear glue. If you have a chance to pick up some while you are out grabbing things, this would be great because this is one of the things that goes inside the glitter jar. If not, oil and water and food coloring work just as well. So, Join me when we highlight B is for breed. So I'm just gonna start with, let's start with Caribbean Dreams. This book is dear to me because my son is, his father is Jamaican, very proud of coming from Jamaica and he is teaching my son so much about his childhood just by the stories that we share. I wanna encourage parents, if you haven't, share stories with your children about how you grew up and the way things were. It teaches them about 
their their family about things that are important or why you may have certain priorities or why you may have a preference for different things so again this has been my parent snippet i'm going to be back and our first book is going to be caribbean dreams thank you for joining me thank you for joining me see you next time and remember you are the you in unique